Hi everyone, my name is Shauna in case you don't know and welcome back to another video. I am going to be heading up to Emerald City Comic Con this weekend and I thought I'd take you all with me. I'm going Friday and Saturday. Today is Thursday so I'm starting the video today since I am going to be driving up to Seattle today. I hope that all of you enjoyed this video and I hope that I'll remember to get footage while I'm at the convention. So I'll see all of you in just a little bit. Here's my outfit for day one. Featuring my little tail. I'm gonna go see my aunt a little bit. So we left after just a few hours. My back is hurting and I wanna show you what I got. Hopefully you can hear me through this mask, but I will take it off. And I was using a microphone, which is on the bed. I'm not gonna go grab it right now. And let me just show you everything that I got. So from the University Bookstore, I got DC Icons Wonder Woman Warbringer by Leigh Bardugo for $5.98. And then I got Stardust by Neil Gaiman for $7.98. They're considered bargain books, and I just have really been wanting to read these two, and so they were cheap, and I got them. And then we have this pen, which I'm actually going to show you the back first. It is Days and Gaze Designs. That's their website. And it says professionally ace because I am asexual, so I wanted this pen. This pen was $10, I believe. I got a Yas Gear pin from The Witcher and a Baby Yoda pin. I am not sure of the company for these ones, and I'm not sure of the prices. My mom was getting a bunch of pins, so I just tossed these in the basket because I wanted them. I got this Agretzko Meet Her World book because I was cosplaying Agretzko, and let me open this up for a second and show you something. So right here, it shows all the stories in here, and this one, The Lonely Committee, is by my kindergarten teacher's daughter. So that's really cool. I got to see her today and I got this book so that's fun. From Quirk Books I got The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston. I read the first book Geekerella and I liked it but like I didn't love it and people said that I should give The Princess and the Fangirl a chance so I went ahead and got it. This is signed by Ashley Poston and it came with this tote bag and then I got this plushie for my sister-in-law. This was $18 I think. And then the Friday Pass, which the activation stickers were not letting come off this year. And so unfortunately it's really sticky. I can't really make you feel the texture through the screen though. And the M is because I have a disability and occasionally need accommodations. And so it just marks me as having a disability so that I can do things like skip to the front of the line if I'm not feeling well and just get any other sort of accommodations that I need. Day one was really fun. It's pretty chill. It is less busy than last year and I am just trying to have fun and I'm not focusing on celebrities this year as much because there's only one celebrity I want to meet that's going. So I'm going to meet them tomorrow and that's really all for today. I'll see you in just a little bit for tomorrow for Ray, which is going to be crazy because I have to carry around my six foot staff all day and I will be in an outfit that's really cold and it's freezing outside so I'm gonna be cold walking to the building. It's gonna be fun but it's gonna be messy and cold and I'm looking forward to tomorrow. So talk to all of you tomorrow. We stayed much longer today. I'm really cold. I should probably take off my jacket to show you what I wore. I'm Ray, obviously, because sort of see my buns. Let me take off my jacket. I wish there was a good place to put my phone with good lighting where I could show you. Let me see if maybe the bathroom might be good. Better than nothing. So, ta-da, ta-da, and shoes. And now 
to things that I got for the day. Here is my badge for Saturday. And it has the M again because I am ADA, disability, and I need accommodations. And for some reason, an M signifies it this weekend. Then I won this. As soon as I found that Epic Reads was gonna be at Emerald City, I was so excited and I won something. So basically all they had for Epic Reads was just this like booth and you go with your badge, you scan your badge and it'll tell you whether you win or not. I only saw people winning tier one things, but when I went back today for the Epic Reads booth, I did notice that less things were out of their glass case. So I'm guessing that some people won the higher up prizes, but I won a tier one and my mom won a tier one. So we both won a Realm Breaker sword, which is from Victoria Aveyard's new book, I believe. And on the back it says save the world or end it and epic reads. I got some Scentsy lights, which is very nice. Well, I didn't buy them, my mom bought them. We have a Scentsy thing because I had a relative who worked for Scentsy for a while, but our light bulb stopped working. And so luckily they had some light bulbs there. They were very cheap, I was very surprised about that. But I have been making candles because I want to open an Etsy shop at some point. And so I've actually been taking my excess candle wax for making candles and pouring it in the Scentsy thing. So now we don't have to buy new wax things because I can just make them, so that is very nice. And I think this was like five bucks. Okay, my phone keeps like saying that I have no more storage left, even though I keep deleting apps, so hopefully I can finish this video. So here's my picture with Hayden Christensen. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I got a digital copy too, which I will include in this video in the next clip. My phone seriously needs to stop telling me that it's out of storage, like I get that. So here are the final things I got. These were each $15 each, so $45 plus tax. I just deleted a ton of apps on my phone. I really hope this works. So I'm going to open Demon Slayer first. So these are the options of ones that you can get. I'm hoping for Zenitsu, but I would be fine with Nezuko and Tanjiro as well. I love seeing all the Demon Slayer stuff there and I love seeing all the Demon Slayer cosplayers. Although, seeing a bunch of Inosuke's, I was like, how are you not, like, freezing cold? Like, I'm cold in this, but to have no shirt on at this convention in December, like, ooh, they must be cold. Okay, I got Inosuke, which is okay. I'm still happy with it. There we go, a little Inosuke keychain. He seems to be a little squashed. I'll have to unsquash him. But there, he has his little abs. That's sort of really cute to have the little abs. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Next one, we have this Kirby terrarium. I am obsessed with these little terrarium things and normally the terrarium stuff is really expensive so I was glad that I found some that were like reasonable price. Oh, and these are the options. Those ones, those ones. Oh, it's so cute, it's so cute. Okay, so I have to take out the plastic. Oh my gosh, so cute, I'm obsessed. I'm gonna show you without the little top on first and then I'll put the top on. Isn't that adorable? I'm obsessed. That's so cute. I'm gonna cry, it's so cute. Like literally look at tears. Now the Pikachu one. They had a ton of different varieties, but I was like, I need to limit myself. You know, I was tempted to just buy all of them and to spend like a hundred dollars, but I was like, no, I need to be good because I want to buy Newt Scamander's suitcase, which is expensive, so I was trying to limit how much money I spent. So these are the ones I could get. I haven't looked at it yet, even though I took it out of the box. I just dropped it in my lap, did not look, so it'll be a surprise. Little sheet telling you which ones there are. Okay, we have gum. Okay, I think that's, is that gum? It's in Japanese. Um, I think that's gum. I have allergies, so not gonna eat that. If anyone knows what that is and it's not gum and it's like something that's not edible and that's worth keeping, let me know. So, which one is this? Are you serious? I got the one Pokemon that I don't know its name. I'm sorry, you can call me a fake Pokemon fan if you want to. Now I have to assemble this one, which I'm gonna have to use the photo to help me with this one. Okay, so we have this. And then we have that. This one doesn't click as well. This one is not as easy to put together. Uh oh, this one won't close. I'm gonna have to work on this one longer. I am not going to Emerald City on Sunday. I will be seeing my family and then heading home. So I might or might not film more things tomorrow. We'll just have to wait and see. 
and I need to go get out of this because I want to get out of it and because I need help getting out of the shirt like when I tried to take the shirt off of myself I was having troubles so yeah talk to all of you later And I'm back home. This is my final clip for the weekend, and I got these two Funko Pops that I want to show you the first day when I got them. However, they were in my parents' room at the hotel for most of the time because we just kept all the Funkos together. So I got Gerald from The Witcher, and I got Jasmine, and Jasmine comes with a little enamel pin. So this is all for my Emerald City Comic Con video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like this video format, feel free to give it a thumbs up because I've been wanting to do more Comic-Con videos, but I'm still trying to figure out the logistics of Comic-Con videos because I don't want to do just hauls, but I'm also not very good at vlogging, you know? My next convention will be Fan Expo Portland at the Oregon Convention Center in January, and I hope some of you will be able to attend that one. Until next time, goodbye!